Okay, so the test is going smoothly, but we are working on something else here. So we have done 95 amp hours and the voltage is still around 12 volts. Okay, so that's a good one already. Okay, okay, so you can see 96 amp hours has been done. So you can see, let's look at the app. Okay, so this inverter is running so quiet that I forgot I was even doing the test because you can't even hear the sound. I forgot the inverter totally so this is the app you can see our average voltage here is 3 volts and we still have 12 volts on the bms we are drawing about 67 amp hours okay so it the fan ramped up a bit now because we have been stressing this inverter i believe see see the current load on the inverter is about 600 700 watts. so the fan kicking now because the fan the inverter is getting hot so you can see we have done 97 amp hours so let's see what voltage will this um, inverter close the test? It's 1% here and the BMS is also showing us that we have just 2 minutes left if we continue to discharge at this rate. Okay, so you see, you see 1% here, 1% here. So I have less than 1 minute to shut down. Average voltage is 2.95, that's about 3 volts. Okay, so this pool full capacity so let's see you can see oh 99 amp hours this is interesting and we are still doing 50 60 amps from this wow so we have done the second cycle okay so this test made it the second cycle on this battery ha 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 you can see 100 amp hours wow this is great result zero percent across board the bms showing zero this is also showing zero so let's just watch it as we eat 100 amps Ooh. so congratulations to joyco <laughs> yeah so that is it boom 100 amp hours okay so it tested full capacity this inverter did a great job so the fan kicked in when we started putting pulling this high load okay so to complete this test you see we still have 11 volts okay i think the washing machine is still kicking in you see the current we are pulling from this battery see this battery see 100 amp hour and it's still going so we are waiting for this to shut down 100 watts 700 watts wow 101 this is a pass yeah so you can see see the load spiking to 50 percent 70 percent see 50 percent 70 percent see so we're about to shut down uh. 101 101 that's a pass so 11 volts okay so 101.5 amp hours so we want to check for efficiency test now so i'll be charging this back up okay so one thing about this meter is it will also count the, meter, the percentage back up okay so it's showing zero now so to count it back up and show us how many hours we will use to charge so let's see so i want to charge at full current and see how this inverter perform in terms of efficiency okay so i've added this so i'll be checking how many kilowatt hours are we going to use from the grid to charge that battery back up so let's see okay so we are charging now so the charging is ramping up so four amps currently it's going down okay yeah good yeah so we are doing 40 amps charging okay so yeah so in three hours this battery should be full but let me see if i can really increase the charging current so i'll increase the charging current now okay. So we are doing 15 now so 50 is saying the battery will be full in 15 in two hours so let's maintain this 
50 amps at the moment okay yeah so 50 amps charging so you can see it will start counting back up so you can see the amp power now is increasing here so to to read from zero percent back to uh 100 percent so let's see in two hours time yeah so we are doing 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.5 c so it's two hours to full charge so 50 amps and 49 amp hour we are at 49 percent so you can see here we have one hour left to charge okay so this is 2 30 pm and we'll be back in another hour the charge is completed now so you can see we charge at about 1.4 kilowatt back into the battery because when we are charging we charge at higher rates okay so battery is full now so you can see this has counted back up to 100 percent okay okay so you can see here this is 1.6 kilowatt hours so we use 1.6 kilowatt hours to charge 1.4 kilowatts into the battery okay so that's an efficiency rate of about 90 percent thereabout which is great yeah